Hey money makers and welcome to my channel. I have a great one for you all today. I'm gonna share with you all my one year review of Zen Business. And so I'm gonna break this video into three parts. In the first part, I'm gonna share with you the changes that Zen Business has made. Secondly, I am gonna share with you my business change, what has developed and grown because of Zen Business. And then third, I'm gonna walk you through my Zen Business order history. I'm gonna show you how I have maintained compliance with my business, as well as how those business changes I mentioned in part two have affected my legal entity. So let's jump into it. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Before I get ahead of myself, I have to let you know why I chose Zen Business in the first place. So I chose Zen Business over other formation companies because they had great customer service. I could call them up on a Sunday, and that made the world of difference to me. Secondly, they had annual compliance. For me, starting a business for the first time, I didn't know what documents I would need to fill out on an annual basis. And so I was like, if I don't know what those documents are, I need some support and help. And Zen Business had that offering that I didn't see the other major business formation companies had. Considering those factors, it was an easy decision for me personally. The first change that I wanna point out is that Zen Business now has a partnership with Bank of America. You can get a $500 cash bank bonus through Bank of America. And so Inkfile had that as well as Ink Authority. And so I was like, Zen Business needs to have this option because starting and forming a business can be a lot of money depending on what state you're forming it in. And if you get some cash bonuses to offset the fee of forming your business, it makes a huge difference. What's even more exciting, they just started Zen Business Money which means that you can track your expenses. All you have to do is connect your business bank account. They do have a $30 a month plan that gives you more accounting features. But for me, tracking my expenses for free would be a huge benefit. And third, they've included on their site grant funding resources for small business owners, just like you, if you're ready to start your business. But again, funding is a concern. How are you going to support this business financially? They include financial resources on their site. So in the past year, they've started a bank partnership with Bank of America. Secondly, created Zen Business Money to help support you and your business. And then third, they have included articles that go over how to get grant funding for your business. So Zen Business has made changes, they've listened to us, and they've overall really helped me grow my business, start that business. Now it's time to get into my business. Now let's go back to late 2020, early 2021. The stock market was booming. I'm telling you times of the 1920s, everybody feeling good, buying things left and right, people feeling so happy that money was coming back and alive. That was that time. And so I told myself that I would never solely rely on a job as my single source of income. So with that promise and the market doing so well, I'm like, hey, I can be a professional day trader. I can make this work. But fast forward four or five months after that, your girl made some bad choices, some bad trades. Unfortunately, that wiped me out. And mind you, this was before I took courses. This was before I actually dedicated time to learning the market. And so when everything was going up and doing well, you think you're invincible but the market is the teacher like no other and will surely humble you. And I, in my case, was humbled. I say all of that to say is that I initially created my business for stock trading. I thought it would be a great way to write off some of the trading losses. And I believe you are capped at a 3000 loss on your personal taxes. But if you have a professional trading business, you can write off more losses. And so stock trading was the reason why I initially created my business. Fast forward again, I decided to post a video about Zen Business and my experience forming my business with them. And that changed everything. And so fortunately I stumbled into affiliate marketing. Zen Business reached out and approached me and they were like, hey, we loved your video talking about Zen Business. 
would you like to be a partner and work with us? And I was like, yeah, sure. I would love to work with you all because I personally had been having a great experience as having them as my business formation company. And I was like, wow, I can make money by sharing products and services that I enjoy using. To me, I was like, that's right up my alley. And so because of Zen Business, I dove into affiliate marketing. I started reaching out to more companies on ShareASell, which is a huge platform where you can connect with businesses and start sharing their affiliate links. And so if you are thinking about starting an affiliate marketing business, you can definitely check out ShareASell linked in the description below. And because of Zen Business, I had a new purpose for the LLC that I had. With affiliate marketing, no matter where I am, I can still be making money. And fortunately, affiliate marketing became a great business for me and still is to this day. And to give you insight, my business currently has two legs to it. I have income coming in from Google AdSense, from YouTube, and then I have my affiliate marketing business. Cannot wait for us to go on this journey together. You're trying to grow your business, I'm trying to grow mine as well. And let's join in hand in hand and let's do this. And getting into part three, let me walk you through my Zen business order history. So on December 6, 2020 is when I put the order in place to form my business with Zen Business. The state filing fee was $300. And then to get the pro plan, which included additional add-ons, I paid $298. So in total, I paid $598 for the formation of my business. If you compare that to the other top formation companies in this industry, it would have cost about a thousand dollars, but instead I got it for about 500. And so all of this was included in the pro plan. But what I want to emphasize is this worry free compliance. I had to pay for that pro plan because I need to be worry free. And so if I could tell my older self, I would say wait till January 1st, anytime after January 1st of 2021 to form the business. I had to file taxes for my business when I didn't have much going on at the time in terms of the actual activities within the business. But I had made a promise to myself that I was going to form the business before the end of the year was up. And so I made that commitment. I followed through, even though it wasn't the best tax wise. And so May 11th is when the I put in the order to file my annual reports. So every state requires you to file some form of annual report. And in Texas is the annual franchise tax report. And so I had to pay zero dollars for this because it was a part of the pro plan, which is that worry free compliance that I keep talking about. And so if I keep going up, you'll see in 2022, January 15th. So this year I made an LLC amendment and I paid $150 for it. To give you insight, I decided to change my business purpose. And so I told you earlier, I went from stock trading to education and affiliate marketing. And so because of that change, I needed to make a commitment to myself and put my money where my mouth was and change the business purpose. And so what I would have otherwise done is just wait till this May 5th deadline when they ask you about your business to just include what the change business is in that section. It costs me now, but I know I'll be better off in the future. And so if you have changes, check to see if you can make those changes to your business when you file your annual reports. I hope this gives you insight into my business and encourages you to get started with yours. I cannot wait to see you next time. Peace, stay building, bye.